hello hello here's a little tiny mini video that i just kind of wound up making as a side effect of accidentally putting some blue paint on my paint plate that i wasn't intending on uh, doing anything with so i didn't want it to go to waste because it is some speed paint by army painter so i wanted to use it uh basically the neat thing about speed paint is it's a three-in-one highlighting midtones and shading paint. Uh, this video is not sponsored or anything, by the way. I just like this paint and found it useful for this particular application. Um, and yeah, so I had this little doll cup in um, my stash and. It has like a textured grip on it and I was thinking of painting it anyway just to give it a little more detail. So when I wound up with the accidental blue paint on my plate that I didn't want to waste, I was like, well, I guess it's going to be blue for the grip. So I just kind of carefully painted it up. And like I said, it's an all-in-one paint, so you just want to do like one layer and you want to get it down quickly, but you also want to be very careful because you don't want to mess up and, you know, have sloppy results. So I was just kind of carefully painting it, unfortunately, wound up off camera. And you, you might have noticed me using a lighter just then. I had some air bubbles in the paint because I was going too fast over the little grips and bumps on the little cup's grip. So it occurred to me that because you can use little lighters to pop air bubbles in resin, that doing it in paint would probably also work um, because I don't want air bubbles in my speed paint. And yeah, it did work. You have to be very careful because obviously you don't want to like catch your doll stuff on fire and you don't want to burn or melt that plastic but it did work i was able to pop the bubbles in the paint with the lighter so that's a thing that you can do um there i go again popping more bubbles i think those are the only two times i had to do it um yeah I'm gonna fast forward a little bit uh, let's see, I think, yeah, okay, there there I was at the end, all happy with it, and I decided, you know what, why not add a little more detail to this little cup, um, a little detail I don't really see people do much, and make it look like it was in the process of being used, um, and partially drunk already, so I got a brown speed paint, I didn't actually show it on the camera very well, did I? I believe it was Pallid Bone. I'm going to say it was Pallid Bone, unless proven otherwise. So I put a little bit of it in the little mouth area, or like the little sippy hole. And then I also like put some on the lid. You know, because like, you know how when... Your drink gets shaken a little bit, and a little bit comes out on the lid, and it makes a little bit of a mess. And you also, like, you've been drinking it, so some of it goes down the side a little bit. Yeah. I thought it would be cool to do that. Just kind of add, like, a little sense of, like, oh, yeah, there's actually something in there. It's actually being used. And I just kind of poked around with that until I was satisfied with how that looked. Yeah. That's that. once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.